This video was brought to you by my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Synthwave! Synthwave! We are making a synthwave song on LMMS. So in this video, we are going to add some effects. We are going to add automation. We are going to structure the song so we can have a complete song with start, a bridge, uh, some climax, and it will actually finish fading everything together. We are going to get a really cool song. Uh, this is the second part. It will have a third part. I don't know how many of them, but I think that we'll end up on the third part. But for this one, let's listen to what we get. Enough! <laughs> Let's get to the video! In the previous video, we, we end up with this. We have the harmony, the beat, the melody, and everything that we need to have a complete song. But we don't have the song yet, because we need to create all the structure that will create all the, the emotions and the feelings that we want to bring with this song. So for that, here on LMMS, we will basically just mix and match all of these uh, samples that we have here, all of these melodies, harmonies, and beats to create uh, our, our design. So here on the song editor, we can hold control and click and drag on any of those of those tracks to duplicate them. So uh, hold control, click and drag. And to remove something, you can middle click on it and it will be removed from the song editor right so let's start with duplicating this holding control and dragging to to the right uh beat and bass lines are a bit different so you can basically just drag them all the way when uh, where you want it to train so it will play repeat it again every uh, every time uh but for this one as you can see uh, let's open it uh, this is how it plays And I want the second one to be uh, to have a small variation on this part So I will hold control click and drag it to the right I will double click to open the piano roll and I will increase this one to B and drag this A an octave up as well. Let's see how this goes. I think that I can bring this up as well. One octave. Hold Control Shift and pressing up arrow. It will bring it one octave up. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's it. So the second one will be like this. And after this repetition, I want to take rid of the analog filter. So I will only duplicate the analog bass, the analog strings, and the synth pad. Oh, but I will duplicate the first one, so we have this whole structure, right? So I will hold control and drag this one right on the side of the, the, the variation. And I think that we can keep with the beat here, but we will add a row, uh, this row here, what is it, this one, this one, just so we can tell that we are starting, Th this, this beat here basically tells we're, we are starting a new cycle, we are not repeating the previous one. So uh, this is to tell the listener that something will change on this new cycle. So let's duplicate this one as well, because now we are going to make the, the climax of the music. So we are going to drag this one here. We'll only have these, we won't have the beat now. And 
I want everything to be focused on this part here. Because this is what tells the listener that we are starting this cycle, right? But I don't want it to be played together with everything. I want everything to be focused on this part. So we are going to take rid of the bass and of the analog strings right at the end here. And we are also going to add a snare roll. So let's take rid of the bass on these two temp these two final tempos and of the strings so this is what we are going to get they will be playing and it will start everything again it will, everything will be back here so let's add the, the analog filter again the bass uh, not this one this one uh, the strings again and this um, synth pad then the beat again it will play for uh, two more uh, repetitions I don't know how this call because we have compass we have tempos and I don't know how this call so uh, this one will also go back it will repeat again and then we can start to finish the music right so we're going to have this, 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 and this, but we can stop the beat. And everything here above the synth pad will fade out, and the synth pad will not end with this, this bridge. Because this is basically to tell that this will restart, this cycle will restart. So instead, we are going to finish it. Uh, changing the using a a4 and it will fade with the with the music so basically it will end up like this but everything will already be fade Jesus Christ can someone remember to do this every time <laughs> Join our Discord server, become my patron, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, that's it, I won't take your time, let's get back to the video. Now that we have our song structured, it's time to actually make the, um, the automations. So automation in music is basically the same thing as the animations on, for instance, on Guru. You can animate some properties, uh, you can change their val values a long time. So this is how uh, we automate stuff. Why this is so important? Because when you export the song, uh, for instance, uh, let's play the song here. Let's add a loop right at the right at the beginning here. Right click at the end here and toggle the loop points. So let's listen to that. I will open this analog filter. And what I want to, to do at the beginning here is actually I want the, the analog uh, the analog strings so the analog strings will start fading in so to fade it to fade them in I will increase the, they will start uh, with a low volume and I will increase this volume until the point where I wanted to until the maximum that I wanted to be so you can see that we don't have anything now we start to have something We are getting there and there we have it but believe it or not we can't do this when the music is exporting so we need the the software we need LMMS to know that we want to animate this property a long time so when we are exporting when we are rendering the music we will get what we want we will get the animation that we want the values will be uh, the ones that we want at the time we want and we want them to be so to make something like this uh, we can use automation tracks so we have one here already but we can create many of them uh, for me one way that I like to organize this stuff is to actually move the automation track uh, below what they are automating so in this case we are going to animate the analog strings volume so I will 
you, you can see that we have some dots on the on the on the left side here so i will left click them and drag them this track below the analog strings and right click uh, left click on the song on the song editor we will add a automation track and you can drag this all the way where we want it to, to end so you can see that we uh, the automation track doesn't know what it should automate yet let me close the analog filter one uh, it doesn't know where uh, what it should automate so in the, in our case we are going to automate the volume of the analog strings let me click here double click and set this to 100 the way that we can tell what this automation track should automate is by holding control and click and dragging the property uh, on top of the automation track so now it knows that it should automate the analog strings you can see that uh, is displayed here analog strings volume double click on that and we will have the automation editor so to automate stuff is kind of like a um, uh, i don't know how it's called but it's, it's kind of like curves in Godot or something like this you have automation curves you have uh, animation curves, a busy curves, stuff like this on animations as well. And you can see that we have the compass here uh, with the tempos and stuff and everything there. So we want it to start with zero. Actually, let's start with something just so the music has something from the beginning. And we will end up with a hundred right on uh, the 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 last tempo the last compass of the uh, eighth tempo compass I I don't I really don't know how this is called but anyway you get it so uh, right here you can see that this is a constant track so it, it will uh, you can see that there is no curves here is not linear it will change abruptly from one value to another so you can change it you can change that to make a linear progression and it will automate it like this so uh, let's hear the song just with the analog string and the automation track see we didn't have to manually change the, the, the property, the volume, because we already automated it. So uh, now let's make something similar with the analog filter, but, but we need to add an effect to the analog filter because we are not going to change its volume. We are going to change um, the frequencies that the listener will actually listen. So, um, to do that, we are going to add an effect called dual filter. And we are going to, because uh, since this is a plugin, so it's a. <laughs> I forgot it again, right? <laughs> so, uh, what I was showing is that we cannot use this interface here to actually um, add LFOs, envelopes, and filters. But we can use the effects tab the fx chain fx chain you can see it here uh, to add a new effect which is called dual filter and with dual filter you can mix two filters this is why they are called dual filter but uh for me i will only use the 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 left one because it's the only one that uh, is actually uh interesting for for our purpose and let's change it to the high field the high pass filter so high pass is a filter that only allows uh, frequencies beyond the, the frequency that we set to pass to the listener. And what we are going to do is to have at the beginning a really low high pass and at the end we will allow every... Uh, at, actually we are going to start with a really high, high pass because we only want some frequencies to pass and then we will close it up and allow every other frequency to every other frequency to to go through the the filter. For that, you can see that we have an error here, and you can select any uh, filter here. So we are going to use the high pass. 
we are going to start with the let's create a new automation track here and let's put it below the another filter let's make the same thing uh, left click and drag it to where we want it to end and let's go back to the filter where is it okay controls and there we have the, the dual filter so let's start with the, uh, we are going to automate this frequency so control drag it to the automation track and drop it there double click and let's listen to this instrument mm, so i think that let's just um, allow this one in the automation track to, to play so you can see that no frequency is going beyond that and this is what we are going to do right so let's start with uh, maybe 290 night 2900 probably something like this you don't have to be too uh, accurate with that but the, the the thing that we want to do is right at the the end right at the start of the ninth the ninth tempo we are going to close it up to one so uh let's make this linear uh, a linear progression and this is what we are going to get you can see that it opens uh, at the end but i think that this is a bit a bit um, the volume is not what, what I want let's see oh you can see that yeah you have to, to turn the mixer uh, the mix all the way to the left And with that, we have this effect. So let's start. So uh, let's copy this uh, to where we want the, um, the analog filter to, to not be played here. But we are actually going to duplicate that, duplicate the automation track as well. But we are going to double click here and we are going to invert this. Because we want it to close the, the filter instead of open it. So this is what we are going to get at this part. other frequencies to other instruments to play and at the end we are going to make the same thing so uh, actually here we are going to duplicate it even though we are not playing the instrument here let's double click and invert this flip it horizontally because we want it to be played when everything come back together and at the end we are going to make the same thing hold control click here and drag it and drop it there and we are also going to uh, make the same thing with the analog string so hold control let's drag it right here and then we can drag all the way here let's flip it horizontally and i think that we can make something similar with the bass so uh, let's create another animation track oops another animation track drag it below the bass 
and um, make something like this but instead of the, the analog filter let's open the analog base and hold, holding control click and drag its property here even though it's saying uh, analog strings volume actually let's take rid of that I think it would be better if I make this manually so holding control left click drag it hit drag it there and at the end I think that at, at here we are going to fade it out completely and using a linear progression so this is how it's going to be the, this is the end of the music <laughs> Actually, it doesn't finish as I wanted, so... We can basically just make this, so we have something like this. And that's it this is the end of the music now one thing that I'm missing here is that the, um, the snare is not as sweaty as I wanted it to be it, it's pretty dry see so let's open the beat and bass line and open the soft snare and let's add a reverb effect to it reverb Let's use this call for reverb, which the, the default settings are pretty uh, okay already. It's pretty much what I wanted, just so we have this wetness to the, to the snare. Let's listen with, with and without it. You can see that it brings a lot of, uh, a huge difference. And with that, we are finished up with this part. So, in this part, we learned how to make automation. We learned how to make a uh, how to add effects, how to make uh, how to structure the song. On the next one, we are going to make side chain. We, since we are going to mix everything together, we are going to add some effects, some equalization. We still have to. Um, automate some other effects that we are going to add on the mixing table but for this one we are good so on the next one we are going to mix everything together add side chaining and have the the song uh, finished so for this one that's it i really hope you enjoy it thank you so much for watching keep developing and until the next time